Hi. Hello. My name is Olivia. My name is Kira, and we are your karma experts. In this video, we will go over the sections, rows, and columns within karma. Let's go. The first component is our sections. Here in our page, we have four sections. The sections structure our web page. All sections are customizable, and you can also add new sections. Here, you can add a section where you see a black circle with a plus sign. You can also go to the end of the page and click Add New Section. In order to customize each section, you have to go to the top right corner. Here, we can change the color of our section. Or you can also choose an image. You can also change the padding of each section. You can duplicate a section. And of course, you can delete a section. One more cool feature is you can actually save a section as a template. So let's go ahead and do that. So later, when we want to add a new section, we have our own template located here. Now on to component number two. The second component are the rows. In each section, there is at least one row. As you can see here, these are two different rows. You can see this because they are outlined in blue. This is the first row, and this is the second row. If we go here to the middle, above the row, you can see a white box. Here within the box, you can see that there are different columns within the row. Right now, there are two columns. We can make this into one column all the way up until six. Also, if you look to the left, you can see a blue box. Here, this you can drag and drop your row wherever you see fit, or you can also adjust the alignment, as well as we have advanced settings. Here, you can see that it is on medium. You can change the width to small, and you can change the width to large. You can adjust the height, the padding, the rounded corners, as well as you can configure the background. In this case, you can change the color as well as add an image. So for example, if we wanted to check a color, also one more feature is that you can add a row. If you click on the upper right, you see this blue button it says add row. And here we go. The third and final component are actually our columns. You can adjust the width of the columns using drag and drop, as you can see here. You can also add in elements within the columns. So let's go ahead and add in an image. Again, via drag and drop. Of course, this is customizable. And there we go. We hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Thank you.